Serigu, a village in the Upper East region of Ghana. Here, families live in mud compound huts. Each family is separated from others. The most attractive feature of these huts is the traditional motifs that adorned the walls of the houses thanks to the industrious women of this culture. In the villages of Ghana, it is said that the place of the woman is the kitchen. Women cook the family meals and take care of the children. Here in Serigu, they, in addition, take care of the beauty of the building after the harvest season. Building the walls of the houses as the work of men. A husband has to provide roof over the heads of the wife and children. Very often, the compound of his father. Water and heated quota are mixed with the sand. This is used to plaster the walls. The walls can then withstand the heavy downpour of rain that tropical Sirigu is characterized with. The women of Sirigu, like other women in some villages in this vast savanna area of Africa, are using local materials to preserve and cherish tradition that is fast dying out. In this group, there are only two women who have the traditional artistic knowledge to draw the patterns. In the past, women from other houses come to help. And here they are helping a neighbor in the work like this. This group is organized to revive the art and to engage in income generating projects like pottery. They use their palms to smoothen the surface of the walls. Rough areas are pointed out and with the help of long poles, uneven parts of the wall are shown to these women for redressing. Mud mixed with water in which Dawa Dawa leaves have been boiled provide a strong surface. 
Feathers are used as brushes. With jokes, songs and dancing, they entertain themselves as they work. The black color is prepared from powdered stone and the red from red stones locally obtained. Similarly, the white stone. White stands for purity. The black and red symbols at the top of the wall signify the head of cattle that the owner of the house owns or aspires to own. Cattle is a symbol of wealth and high social status. The painted triangles represent the broken calabash. Calabash is used to serve water, the local pito drink, and food. A woman uses this to serve her husband. A broken calabash stands for divorce and brings to mind the death of their beloved ones. The women use pebbles to firm the surface and make it shiny when dry. Drawing different motifs on the walls of a house can be a whole day activity. The symbols have different meanings, male and female, and passage of time. They depict the hopes, aspirations, social and economic well-being of the people. Images of reptiles found in the area, like the snake, the lizard, and the crocodile, are motifs used. They have their meanings. The python drawn here stands for protection of their babies, and thus the safety one hopes to enjoy in a house like this. Uh, I'm saying that the personality of the person uh, comes out in the design, because if you see from the left 
to about where the water flows out of the of the uh, uh, top of the roof you'll see a different design but as you go further on uh, as you go further on into the corner it's a different uh, perspective so i think if you come nearer you will see that that flare is different from this other flare this one is a longer much longer wave than the other one no, somebody who can do it. The cow signifies wealth. It is used as bride wealth given out by the parents of a prospective husband to the family of the bride. Great is the pride of a woman whose husband can boast of a big herd of cattle. A big herd that the motif spanning the sketch of this building portrays. A happy woman indeed she is, and her children, born and yet unborn, can look forward to a peaceful and happy future. This is the social, economic and religious feelings that the motifs on the walls of Sirigu emit. Modern architectural designs flooding the face of towns and cities of Ghana are pushing these beautiful expressions on the walls of Sirigu out of the limelight. What is the future of the motifs on the walls of Sirigu? But this is not a question for this happy and industrious women of Sirigu to answer.